Hey, my name is Phil and welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be reviewing a tool called Screepy. And in the Screepy review, I'm gonna be sharing exactly what Screepy is, how it works, and by the end of the video, you should know if Screepy is right for you. Now, just to let you know, they are currently having a lifetime deal. So if you wanna get Screepy at a one-time price, make sure you check out the links in the description. There's more information in there too. So first of all, what is Screepy? Well, Screepy is an SEO and web analysis tool that actually goes ahead head scrapes your website and tells you everything that you need to know now the best thing about Screepy is it's simple and easy to understand while a lot of the other tools on the internet are very complex and confusing so when I actually got started with Screepy just a week ago and started using it I realized how perfect this tool is for someone like me who doesn't quite understand uh, SEO and all the Google stuff that well so this is actually a very helpful tool so what I'm going to do right now instead of talking about it is actually jump behind the screen and show you Screepy okay here we are behind the screen first of all i'm going to start off at the screepy website i just want to show you the different types of pricing there is and then i'm going to show you the lifetime deal to show you the value you can get so as you can see we've got four tiers of pricing here but if you want to get the lifetime deal you'll also get the pro sort of uh values that you can actually see as you can see if the lifetime deal is over though nine dollars a month or seventeen dollars a month isn't going to make you go bankrupt um so it's a very good price but if you want to take advantage of the lifetime deal there is a link in the description and it's going to take you to this AppSumo page as you can see they've got four point i believe eight eight stars or tacos out of five so it is one of the highest ranking sort of products on AppSumo. Um, but if you scroll right down to the uh, bottom where the price is Screepy Pro plan, $49 for life. So keep that in mind, $17 a month. If you just had this for three months, it's already gonna pay itself off. So here it is. And basically you can get everything inside of the Pro plan. So it's an extremely good deal. Okay, so here we are on the dashboard of Screepy Pro. This is the lifetime version. So this is what you can expect to get if you get started. Just to let you know, if you do get the lifetime version, you can have 10 websites, which is usually more than enough for most people. So it's a very powerful tool. If you wanna add projects, there's two buttons where you can actually add them there's the plus button down here or there is the add project button like so if you click it you basically just put in a name for reference on the dashboard and the domain url and once you've put it in there it is going to take a little bit of time to actually analyze the website but once it's done you're going to start seeing a lot of information on the dashboard here too you can also go to what's called the rewards program where you can actually um, add a few more projects and pages and keywords so if you want to do that that's also there i know it's a very cool little incentive to actually upgrade your account slightly um, so make sure you check that out if you do get it but what I'm going to do is actually dig into one of these websites and show you what it's like so I'm going to go ahead go to the legit marketing reviews website and let's see how it's doing now as you can see uh, I've only got 55% out of 100 for overall health so there are a lot of things that need improving it looks like my SEO is not too bad it's at 73% I'm not an SEO guru so uh, this is actually going to help me get a little bit better my page speed is 91% which I'm actually quite happy with um, so that's very good and if I come down it's going to start showing me what's actually wrong with the website so as you can see i'm missing an h1 page on one of these pages so if i actually click on it it's going to show me which page so that's really really cool so i'm going to come back to the overview and I'm gonna see what else is wrong. And basically what you wanna do is just come through each of these pages with errors. It's gonna show you which page is having what error and you can come through and fix it, right? If you have a good working website, it's going to rank better on uh, Google. So make sure you actually just spend a little bit of time going through it. It doesn't have to be 100, but the better it is, um, the better it's going to be. Now scrolling down after all the errors, here is the basic sort of page speed loading score. So here's 91% page speed, second and a half to load. So it's not too bad. Page size one megabyte, which is actually really good. And um, FC, FCP, which is the first contentful paint. Basically, it's the first sign of like life on the website once you load it, which is really good. So I'm happy with that. Resp response time is good. Uh, status and everything's good. 100% uptime, very nice. And down here, here are some suggestions that I can actually do to increase my uh, web performance. As you can see, I can increase it by 2.9% of the impact um, if I follow this particular thing here. And it tells you how to actually fix it here on the right, how to fix. So if, it's, if you're someone like me that doesn't quite understand um, SEO perfectly, this is going to give you a really good insight of how it works. So that's the overview. If we break it down, if I go to the tasks panel, it's gonna show me all of the things that I need to sort of finish. So if you 
you'd rather just sort of focus on the issues you can come to tasks and then you can go through here and once it's done you can get it rescanned and you can see how it works and to rescan you just click analyze now up the top so now let's go on to the pages tab and what you can see in here is actually each of your individual pages and what Screepy has done is scanned all of them and gives you a report on how each of them are doing. So what I'm going to do is just show you the homepage report to give you an idea of the content that sort of comes out. So basically we have a general connection, make sure everything's fine. We've also got a little bit about the content inside of your page. Now, as you can see, um, everything's pretty good except for the ratio, my text to HTML, HTML ratio is a little bit low so I could look at focusing on changing that um, to get a better sort of overall score. Things like diagnostic, how's your font scripts, all that sort of stuff. Uh, it says my H1 heading isn't the same as the title so I can change that if I wish. I've got no H4, 5 or 6 tags. Uh, it says here I've got a mention of uh, all these different keywords. Software is done six times but it's not in the title description or any of the image alt tags. Quite interesting, I could add that in there. Also the links, uh, I've got a direct link going here, but it hasn't got any text, which is uh, fine. And then finally, one of my images, which is actually my favicon, hasn't got a alt uh, tag as well. So I should actually go ahead and change that. So that's basically the SEO report for each individual page, and it does all of them, right? It does actually take a little bit of time to go through it, depending on how many pages you have. Um, but once you have it, it's really, really inf interesting information. So that's the pages tab. Moving on to page speed. Page speed is just a more in-depth version of what we saw earlier. Um, I'll just let this load. As you can see, we have here basically a monitoring type score, so that doesn't look there's any changes over the last little while. Um, but if we come down, it each, it also tells you the speed uh, loading time of each page. So that I think is really uh, uh, unique because I haven't actually seen it anywhere else. Um, so I'm really proud of that as well. It's quite a fast website to load considering it's just WordPress with loads of different plugins. So I'm very happy with that. Next we'll go to keywords. Now keywords you have to add in manually. I actually only added these in just before so you won't see any difference in position. As you can see there's no change but basically it's showing me what position uh, I'm currently ranking for these different types of keywords. And you can choose where your Google country that you want to sort of get the results from is. I tend to just target the US so that's there. You can also go to more in depth results there too if you wish. Now moving forward to SEO. This is where we get some really interesting things. Basically what it's going to do is tell us, like it did in the overview, what our website is lacking. But we've got an extra sort of set of tabs up the top where we can really burrow down and find out exactly what's going on. So the overview is here. If you want to look at the different types of keywords, what's actually going on, you can see how Google is reading our site. So for one word keywords, we have them here, two words, three words, for all the different pages. Um, so it's quite interesting to see what the dominant sort of words are in your content. As for headings, once we load here, you can see uh, how many different types of heading tags you've added in your website. So as you can see, I'm missing an H1 on my blog page. Uh, I'm also got three on this particular article, which is interesting. I'm definitely going to go here to change that. Um, no H3s. So as you can see, we want to have a good spread between H1, H2, H3, and then potentially H4, 5, 6, um, depending on your different types of words. So it's a very easy fix to go through and do this. Next for Canical, um, we have all here the different types of statuses going on. As you can see here, this is an interesting one, different from URL. So basically what I would do is come in here and change that um, and make sure everything's working. The thing about this is it's just very easy to navigate through for me. Someone looking at this, it, it makes sense. You know, all these other tools can be very overwhelming while Screepy makes it extremely easy. This is telling us how many images we have inside of our text, uh, inside of our article, sorry. And then finally, we have got all of the different links. So as you can see, I've got loads of different links going on in here, uh, internals, externals, and you've also got anchor links as well. So it's a very, very powerful tool. So next, let's go into the diagnostics tab and see what information we've got going on in here. Now, as you can see, it's talking about all our different requests, our fonts, our scripts, and our style sheets. Um, as you can see, there's a bit of variance going on in this particular article. Um, you've also got some little uh, drop downs here so you can open the URL to see it or you can remove the page from your diagnostics tab basically um, you just want to keep an eye on things but make sure it's all working but 
there isn't really too much I think you need to do. It's basically just a monitoring system so you can see how everything's working. We've also got syntax. Syntax is getting a little bit um, technical for me, but basically we've got in here all the different types of errors inside of each page. As you can see, we've got codes for things that we don't necessarily need. So what we can do is go in here and either fix these or we can get a developer to come in and try to sort them out. Uh, for me, I'd probably rather pay someone a little bit of money to go ahead and fix this. Next, we have uptime. It's a perfect peace of mind to see how your website's going. If you got the 100%, you can just uh, sort of breeze past this tab. It's always good to check on it though. No doubt you will get a notification if something's wrong. And then finally, we've got the settings tab where we can go ahead and change a few things if we wish. But that's basically Screepy. You can see how simple it is, how easy it is, and how beautiful it looks. What I'm gonna do right now is actually jump behind the camera one more time, talk about a few extra little things. Okay, so that was Screepy, particularly the Screepy Pro plan. And as you can see, it is such a powerful tool. Now, this particular tool, I do believe is perfect for people that aren't web developers, they aren't coders, anything like that, because it allows you to see all the vital statistics and analytics of your website without all the unnecessary sort of jargon and tools that you need to get to actually get the information. So if you are someone who's either a beginner or you just wanna keep an eye on your websites and how things are going, then this particular particular tool is right for you. Once again, if you do want to check it out, there is a lifetime deal going on right now. More information about that as well as a link in the description. Go ahead and check that out. But that's Screepy Pro. I hope you guys did like this video. If you did, smash that thumbs up button. And if you haven't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I've got a massive amount of awesome tools being reviewed in the near future as well as loads of discounts. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. It will be worth your while. Okay, guys, that's it from me. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you on the next one.